After an unprecedented 2020, the West Australian property market should experience solid growth in both the rental and sales markets in 2021, something not seen since the strong conditions in 2013. So let's get into all the details with this month's Perth property market update. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So Rewa President Damien Collins said 2020 has been an unusual year for property. However, despite the lull experienced during the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, WA is showing extremely positive signs. Mr Collins said sales activity in Perth at the start of the year was sitting at approximately 2,900 transactions per month, followed by an uptick where we are now seeing nearly 4,200 transactions per month. Listings for sale have also reached a 13-year low with just over 10,000 listings for sale on Reba.com putting upward pressure on prices. Now, agents on the ground have reported that recently it is not uncommon for sellers to be receiving multiple offers, including being offered thousands more than the advertised price, something which has not been seen since 2013. Mr Collins said, with record low interest rates looking like they'll be around for a while, many buyers are finding it cheaper to buy than rent. This is one of the reasons why we can expect sales activity in 2021 to continue gaining momentum. In 2020, Perth was the lowest median house value of any capital city in Australia, with the increase in population growth due to people to returning to WA from overseas and interstate. Now, this could change in 2021. While house prices were largely stable over the last 12 months, it is expected that prices will increase between 6 and 10% over the next 12 months, Mr Collins said. Now, after an unexpected 2020, Perth's rental market has reached crisis levels, with the vacancy rate reducing, reducing to below 1% due to the flow-on effects of COVID-19. Population growth increased 1.5% during the 12 months to March 2020, and with more than 1,000 international arrivals expected per week, plus the domestic borders opening, the rental market could get more competitive for renters at the start of the year before it gets any better due to the low levels of available rental properties, Mr Collins said. Now, the limited stock of rentals available has resulted in upward pressure on rents, with the median rent increasing from $350 per week to currently sit at $380 per week in the last few months, which is an 8.5% increase. Now, we can expect rents uh, to grow an additional 10 to 15% throughout 2021. However, even with this increase, WA is still the most affordable capital city to rent in across uh, all Australian states and territories. Uh, the positive outlook for the Perth rental market will hopefully attract an increase in investors looking to take advantage of the favourable market conditions. This will help boost the availability supply of rental properties, thereby keeping rents increases to reasonable levels. Well guys, that is it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Uh, have a great week and don't forget there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.